Hi guys, welcome back to another class. My name is Joanna, if I've never had you here. If you're doing the scroll looking for a workout, maybe try this one, I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna put all of the movements and stuff we're doing today down in the description, which I don't always do, so if you're looking for like a lineup of exercises to see if this is what you wanna do, check that out. Equipment you need today is, um, I don't know, a few variations of dumbbells. I'm doing fives and eights. I want a little more for shoulders, because I like to build those shoulders. And a lot of our workout today revolves around a chair. It can be a folding chair. Um, I've already taught this class live, and we used folding chairs. So I know that it works with the folding chair. Today I'm gonna use a dining room chair. And you know I love me a Pilates ball. So get one of those, or a pillow, or whatever you have. And let's get started. I'm ready to roll. It's actually not five in the morning once, it's 5 p.m. And I'm feeling way more energetic. So I want you to reach your right arm up and over and take a nice big stretch. And then other side. Not particularly musical, just getting into the body a little bit. And then two counts each direction. Over, two, over, two. And just listen to what's happening in your upper body. And take a few breaths into those ribs. If you want more, I'm pushing in the bottom hip to get a little more. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Take a reach. This is one of my favorite ways to warm up. Just gets the body moving. Nothing aggressive right away. You're just like, oh, okay, this feels pretty nice. Ah, three more. We're gonna take this into a nice slow squat. Take it down for two. Feet just hip distance apart and up for two. Now a squat can be really super boring, but we're not gonna take it there. We're gonna really think about the details. Abs in and up, shoulders are down. Good, I want a few more slow. This is where you're kind of reading your body. Oh, I should mention, I'm wearing a crazy outfit today. This is, I got this off a website called Simply Workout and they have really wild, like fun workout gear. So I'll link them below as well. A little faster, down and up, down, squeeze, down. Take inventory, okay? We're here for a full class, full body, head to toe. I want you to immerse yourself in this experience, even if it's just you in your kitchen or your living room. Four more. We're gonna take a step back or just wherever you have space. Um, I'm gonna step back to my mat so we have a little more space. Tilt your head up and then take a nice roll down, chin to chest, all the way down. Hands to floor. Find a little hamstring moment here. We're just gonna squat down, nice and slow. How low can you go trying to keep the heels on the floor and walk out to a nice high plank? Walk back in and roll it up nice and slow. And we're gonna do that quite a bit faster, down for two, down. Two, walk it out, two. Walk it in and roll it up. I don't want you to miss the squat position here because it's a really great warm up for the hips and the ankles. <sighs> nice and juicy. Feel every little end range of motion in your joints. We're gonna do one more slow. We're gonna stay out there. Find a nice high plank position, feet together. Point your right toe and we're gonna start to pulse. Lift it up in a little tripod arabesque for me. Same knee, pull to the chest, pulse in, in. Push the floor away, nice long neck. Three, two, replace the foot, other leg, lift. Be sure not to pick your hips here. Hips forward, neck is long. Knee to the chest, pulse in. Eight, seven, good. Four, three, Two, find your high plank, take your right foot all the way up by your right hand. And we're gonna stretch for a second there, just getting into that hip. Same hand as the front thigh, you're gonna open up and then see if you can take that elbow into the foot. We're going back and forth. If you need a little longer in one position or the other, feel free to take that. Up, two, cross. If you can get your full forearm down, great. If you're just about halfway down, that's fine too. Good. Okay, keep your hand down, and I want you to bend the back knee and then straighten it out. Now, you probably don't have a mirror at home, but I want you to picture that your hips don't move, they stay super low right here, and then don't let them come up. Should be a lot harder. Let's take it a little faster. Then, stretch. You're trying to flex the bottom quad, and it should burn a little bit. Great warm up there for the hips and the knee. Two more, two. One, stay, heel toe your front foot to the center, hands up to a little tent position, hip up just a little bit, open your chest. You're just gonna do a little tap with the back foot, 
into that front heel. Now to modify, if your chair is set up already like mine is, you can just come up a little bit and it's not such a steep, steep and deep angle for your hip. Otherwise, come down because we like that depth. A little faster, in, in. Few things to check out here. I'm thinking, stick the chest out here, definitely. In, in. weight in the heel and then shoulders open. Good, three more, three. Two, step it back to your high plank position. Other side, so left foot up by that hand. Take a second and just stretch it out. So now your left arm, same as the front leg, same thing, you're gonna take that twist and that tap in with the elbow. Two counts up, two count tap. Try to explore that big range of motion so you're not just doing a bland stretch to the ceiling, you're taking a little further if you can. One more. Good, plant the hands, same thing. Bend the knee, keep the hips low, stretch through that quad, a little faster. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch. So if you're actually thinking about pushing your butt or your hips forward as you straighten your knee, it's gonna be a lot deeper of a stretch. Good, heel toe the front foot to the center, tent the fingers, bring up the hips a little bit, and we'll start that slow knee repeater, or that little tap to the back of that front heel. Set the shoulders into the back, Stick the chest out a little bit. Two more slow. Remember, you can always modify by coming up a little bit. Faster, here we go, in, in. And you can look here at your own body. Self-check that that shin is perpendicular to the floor and not pitching forward. You don't want any pain in that knee joint. Four, three, two, one. Good, step it back to your high plank. Hold. <sighs> Set the shoulders back. Just a few nice, slow, marching mountain climbers. Right knee, left knee. Good, so you have the option to stay here. I'm gonna run it out. 16 counts. One, two, three, four. Staying as calm as possible. The upper body, same thing you guys, slow it down, cross it over. Twist, twist. Again, the option to stay with the march. Otherwise, take it up to tempo. Twist, twist. Shoulders back. Good. All right, hold in that plank position, final steady, rock solid. Set of eight counts here. Not long, four, three, two, one. Knees down, hips back. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna start with legs down here. So roll out your wrists if you need to, grab some water. We're gonna come to a quadruped position. You can go in your fists or in your hands, abs in tight, right leg. Out, back, around, and in. So as big as you can, nice and slow that first few times, faster, up and around. <sighs> Again, you're trying to explore like big range of motion. What's available for you in your hip without getting too funky town through the upper body. Two more, and around. Reverse, same thing, you got too slow, push it all the way back, all the way around and down. See how far you can bring that knee to the shoulder, a little faster, up and around. Core is tight. So for me in quadruped, I just think pull the ribs together. Right there, that gives me like that push through my arms and a little bit of core engagement. Just makes sense. Just a hydrant to the side, you guys. Side and down. Now another moment where if you had a mirror, it would be super awesome because I would want you to see that your knee is straight away, completely straight off from the hip. All right, we're gonna hold this next one and change the position a little bit. Round to jump just a little bit to a funky diagonal. Push your hips forward, give me a nice brisk lift up. Now it's super normal and probably intentional that you're gonna feel both sides of your butt here for sure. Eight more. Nice and light, lots of energy. So we're gonna take two counts to lengthen the leg a little farther out, open the pelvis, and I'm gonna cross that leg behind me. Okay, like a little eagle pose from yoga. And I am letting the pelvis open and then I'm letting it dip a little bit to stretch the glutes a little faster. A little kick and wind up. Kick, wind up. Good, push into your hands as you kick the legs. Two more, two. One, you're gonna unfold on that diagonal and hold. Little pulse, squeeze. Ah. Whew. 10 more, don't drop your leg. Eight, seven. You're on that weird diagonal, but boy, you feel those glutes. Three, two, one. You're gonna take that same working leg, 
and step it forward. This is where you need your chair. Get a good grip, tuck your back toe. We're gonna stand all the way up and all the way down. Now this is where I need you to feel out your own body. You can be hinged a little bit. You can really tuck the hips under. That's gonna be a little more of a quad focus. Let's single it up. up. Now if you have any funkiness, is the nice word I'm gonna use, in either knee, just shorten your range of motion. Play around with tuck, no tuck, maybe a little crossover until you are out of that achy knee feeling. Okay, a little pulses down. We're gonna take a second to just burn out, like collectively, the legs, glutes and thighs. Little pulse, little tuck. Down, squeeze the butt. Down, tuck. How much movement can you get there through that pelvis? Got just the tuck, take it under, release. Get kind of like sexy, but like weird sexy with this. Under, back. It's actually really nice to explore, again, like that end range of motion through the joint. Hold the tuck. Little triplet down, down, two, three. This is where if you have no knee pain, I want you to push the envelope. Try to get that back knee down to the floor. Four, two, three, three, two, three, two. Okay, changing position here. Find a little pulse. You're gonna turn out your front leg just a little bit. Not a lot. I do want you to still try to drive the knee over like the pinky toe here. And then start to march that foot into a nice cross position. Shorten up your position and hinge for me. Okay, nice two count plie, two count. And we're gonna extend and tuck the hips under as we tendu this back leg, brush it to the side. So the idea is to stretch the glute and then contract it. I do this kind of stuff a lot because I love it. A little faster, take it down, up. Don't worry about this working, or this leg that's free. You can really point it, give me a beautiful foot if you want, but I'm focused on this hip. Squeeze, two more. Slow it down, we're taking that leg to a passe this time, so down, stretch. Take it to a passe, down. So that toe, that back toe, just coming to the side of the knee, or even behind. Hips are just really driving under. A little faster. Take a stretch, pull. If you want more stretch across the hips, sometimes you can twist into that leg. Four. How about two more so I'm on my music? Okay, we're back to that two count. Last variation here, we're gonna unfold the leg to a little double pay. Down, two. I'm gonna show facing you so it makes sense. Down, two, double pay. Speed it up. Down, okay. If you have no dance background, great. Just kick that leg out to the side. Ooh, gets our heart rate up just so nice. Three, two, good. Stay low, we're just gonna pulse it out eight times. We finish with a nice little leg raise, just like we did in quadruped. Three, two, one. So immediately, you're just gonna take your front leg behind you. So I'm taking my left forearm down, right leg up. It's gonna look like my left but it's all good. Open the pelvis, lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift. Now I can lift without using my butt. It's weird. So make sure to press your hip forward. Get the glute a little faster. If it helps you, micro bend that knee a little bit to so an attitude position. Lift and hold, up, little down, up. Keep the shoulders down, try to keep the abs up and in. Okay, we're gonna do a little sewing motion, in, Two, out, two, in. This is where I really start to feel like the back of the body, a little faster, down, open, down, open, down. You can get into it if you want. Four more, four, three. Still try to squeeze the glute as much as possible. Last one, final light pulses. There it is, eight, seven, four, okay. six, five, four, three, one, and release. Oh. <sighs> nice job. Okay, so we have a little intermission here for arms, upper body. We get to sit on our chair. So nice. Grab some water, and then I'm gonna start, mm, I think I'm gonna start with fives, but definitely gonna have eights on deck. I like to overhead press with eights more. I find five is not enough, but lateral raises, I like five. Okay, 
I used to make fun of people at the gym, like the gym gym, who would sit down and do body, upper body work. Like just stand up. But it's actually really great for your posture to sit. So I want you to get your sit bones kind of to the front of your chair, set up nice and strong, soft elbows, lateral raises, singles. I feel a cough coming up. <coughs> there it was. I knew it. Sometimes you just have to get those out. All right, so give me a nice few easy reps. Like your weights weigh absolutely nothing. If you have any kind of weird shoulder injuries, go for like a three pound weight. That's fine. We want this to be strengthening and not irritating. Tempo work, up in one, down in three. Three, two, one. Up in one, down. Tempo work is super good, really for anything. We do it a lot in bar, but this is actually not a bar thing at all. This is a bodybuilding tempo. Up, three, two, single it out again. Up, and down. Seven more and we're pressing overhead. So that's where I'm gonna change to a heavier weight. Totally up to you. Four, remember, sitting up tall on those sit bones. Nice tall spine. One. Okay, so I'm gonna real quick swap out for my eights. Give me a single right arm press and down. So now I'm mirroring you. Hopefully that makes a shred of sense. I'm looking out my garage window right now. The sky is totally black. We've been getting crazy storms here. Both arms, press, down. Okay, this is when things start to really get real for me. But I love shoulders. I love the way like capped, rounded shoulders look. So I'm pushing. <clears throat> Tempo work, up and one, down and three, up, three, two, one. Again, if you had a mirror, make sure your elbows aren't going out to the side. So just pretend visually in your peripheral, keep the elbows tight. Singles again, we can do it. Eight of them, eight, down, seven. Think about squeezing just the cap of your shoulder. Squeeze it, neck is loose, four. Three, we're going right into Arnold press. Finish two, one. Palms face, open, two, press up. Down, slow, and in. When it's slow, it's so hard. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing now crashes above me. My husband's home, watching the girls, and I don't know what they're doing up there. Two, down. Okay, I'm off my tempo. Take a little rest. Can we go a little faster, up? And down, and in. Still not like hectic. Ah! I'm getting the fatigue. Out, up, in. Two more, you can do it. Out, up, in, down. We're gonna stay with the palms forward. Pause for a second, single arm, right arm. Now again, I'm saying the same thing this whole video. If you had a mirror, I don't either, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but you would picture that your weight is just straight above the shoulder. So. Nothing out to the side, is what I'm saying. Okay, both arms, just eight. Eight, seven, five. Try not to flare your ribs like me. Three, two, one, and release. Nice, okay, we're gonna do the other side of our kneeling glutes. Then we got some more compound work. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my chair to the other side. You might wanna do the same thing, just to keep things fun and fresh. Second side, so we're coming back down to hands and knees. Abs are in and up. We're gonna start that same circle. I'm using my left leg and so should you. You know what's funny is I just had to, my camera ran, ran out of space. Hold on, let's go a little faster, out and around. So I had to like upload my photo footage and then restart the camera. I did not realize that my camera was zoomed in. So I think my head's cut off for most of that and it's a really unflattering angle. So it is what it is. Reverse, back for two, side for two. You know what, with this YouTube thing, I've just had to learn to not take myself so seriously. A little faster, up and around. Cause it's really hard you guys to watch yourself back on camera. You have no idea. You're like. You know what, I look pretty good today. Everything's fine. And then you watch the footage back. I don't know, it's just, it's just a little bit hard, you know? All right, out to the side. Out and down. Not hard, but like easy to be self-critical. I'm sure I'm the only one who feels stuff like that, right? Hopefully not. All right, two more. Push your 
hands into the floor, abs up and in. And we're gonna hold this one, remember? Out and stay, round to jump just a little bit, find that little divot and start to push up. So go ahead and watch. Like, you know when you squeeze your butt, that little scoop right there, that's right where you're working as we lift. All right, we're gonna take that two count extension to the side, two, and then cross it over. Do allow your pelvis to move here. Keeps things interesting. Two more slow, out, two, in, cross. Oh, try to get that range of motion good. A little faster, out, down. It's like a really fancy karate kick. Oh, down, oh, a few more. I'm bending my back elbow a little bit to help open the pelvis. All right, last one, we're gonna hold best eight pulses of this whole video. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That working leg is gonna be the one that's stepping forward. <clears throat> Tuck the back toe, find your little lunge. Tuck the hips down for two. Down, two, up. So I'm gonna pull my back foot in a little bit. I have a funky knee. I dislocated a kneecap once. Like my kneecap was all the way on the other side of my knee, a little faster. So I still feel that knee sometimes. It gives me a little reminder that that happened. So if you got like a previous injury anywhere, you know, it's just like, okay, take that into account and make little adjustments. Totally fine. Little pulse right here, down. Remember you can hinge. Actually, that feels really nice on my knee on this side. So I'm gonna do a tiny hinge. Little plie, little tuck through the hips. I can still tuck here. I just have to be a little bit different. Down, tuck. Remember, get that pelvis like weirdly moving. Just the pelvis, under. Back, under, back. If someone walked in right now, they'd be like, hmm, what you doing? Move it, under, back, under, back. All right, little triplet, keep it neutral. Down, two, three, Woo. down, two, three, Woo. down, two, three. Oh, a few more. I'm feeling the heat, but I like it. I had to take a break to upload that video, so I'm feeling fresh. Should we do like an hour and a half class now? Maybe, down, two, three, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're gonna transition to the turned out position. Find your little pulse, turn out the front leg, and then cross the back leg over. Find a nice tighter position to drop down for two. Down, two, up and brush to that tondu. Down, and brush. Don't worry about what you look like, worry about what you feel. That's sometimes like the the only negative part of bar that sometimes creeps in is like bar can be belly, very balletic, but it's still about that mind to muscle connection. A little faster, down, up, down. So it's a base more about what you feel, more than the lines you're creating. Three. Okay, more stretch, down. We're going to the passe, slow it down. Three, two. Now picture that glute right across your sit bone. You might want to touch it. Go ahead and touch it. Stick your hips out, wrap them in. Down. All right, little lift of the heart rate. Down, squeeze, down. Now it's easy, at least in my body, to push forward too much, so try not to do that. Try to stand up nice and straight. Three, Woo. two. Here's our little brush with extension. Two counts one more time. Down, two, Devlope. Double pay. Tra -la -la. Down. I'm not going to turn and face you because you know exactly what to do, right? Down. And up. Single it out. Take it down. Watch this knee, the supporting knee, that it doesn't get like weird and torqued. Oh, I got to focus. Getting out of breath. Three. Two. One. Good. Replace the leg. That front standing leg becomes the working leg. Give yourself enough space to lean. Float that leg up. Open the pelvis. Start a nice little pulse. I'm breathing. I'm gonna drop my leg down. A little bit, up stay. A little down, up stay. A little down. Oh, this side feels so much more tired. Probably, probably because this was the standing leg on the other side. All right, sew it. Down, two, open. Why does the sun feel so slow? Mm, a little faster. Down, up, down, ta-da, down. 
Make sure you're still feeling it in your glutes. I get a little bit of back here, a little bit of side, but that's good. Compound movement, ready? Hold, best eight pulses. Eight, seven, bottom knee can be bent or straight. Four, three, two, one, stretch. Good, okay, so we have a little round two for our arms here. Now we have one more like combo, arms and legs. Kind of following a different format today. I like to switch it up. I like that. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go fives for this because we have front raises. So choose accordingly. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, top of the sit bones, core engaged. This time palms face the body. We're gonna try to hit the front and the rear delts this time. Exhale, inhale. The same idea as lateral raises, nice and light. Nothing above 90 degrees. Breathe out those arms. No zombie arms with locked elbows, right? Two more, out, down. Tempo work, up and one, down and three. Up, three, two, one. Nice and slow. This is your eccentric contraction which means you're working the negative. Eight more singles. Anytime you work a little more into the negative like that, creates a little more muscle tearing, at least studies show. We want that, that makes us sore, that makes the muscle change. Two, one, good. So now I want you to take your feet all the way together, we're gonna hinge over, and you're gonna round your elbows slightly. You may or may not touch the weights under your legs. Little reverse fly. Down, out. So we're doing, I guess, a combo here. To be a true rear delt reverse fly, I would take the pinkies high, but honestly, five pounds, it's like too much for me here. So we're allowing the back to recruit by keeping the palms together. You can play with it though. If you prefer to keep those pinkies out, more power to you. Tempo, out one, ah, uh, three, two, one, three, two, one, just two more. Try to pinch those shoulders down, no tension in the neck. If you get only this far out, that's totally fine. Eight singles, one more time. Eight, down. We're gonna triceps after this. Suddenly I'm worried if I shave my armpits well enough or not. Four, because I'm about to give you a view. Two more, two, one. Okay, waist to shoulders, all the way up, glue them together, down we go. Now this is where you can really splay too much in your ribs. So let's try to pull that together. Shoulders down. I'm not gonna ask you to pinch your elbows too tight. A little wider elbow position. Single arm, up, two, back down. Now this is kind of a weird feeling. Don't feel like you have to lock out all the way because sometimes that really disturbs your alignment. So think about going like three quarter extension. A little faster. Take it out and down. Try to get your weights as far behind your head as possible, that means a deeper bend in the elbow. Four, down, three, two. We're gonna take a little isometric hold, recenter. To modify, you can always drop one weight, hold a single weight lengthwise. All right, halfway up, up, down. I am fighting to keep my ribs and my shoulders from doing this. I don't have a lot of shoulder flexibility there, despite doing aerial, it's always been my struggle. Okay, 16 pulses in a row. Don't drop your weights. Don't do it. 14, 13, shoulders down. You're practicing like total calm here, even though it feels like the backs of your arms might fall off. Five, four, three, two, one, drop them. Ah, nice. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna do some dips. You knew it was coming with a chair. You knew it was. Okay, let's start slow. I like the side grip. You're welcome to go front. Uh, let's get into it in a good position. This is gonna rub me weird. So I want you to start with your feet bent. Definitely, sorry, knees bent. These are your knees, not your feet. And I want you to keep contact. Do you feel this, the front of your chair with your hips? Try to keep contact there as you lower. So what I'm not looking for is this with the hips up. Up for three, nice and slow. Three, two, one, drop it down, three. Two, one, drop it down. Three, two, one, drop it down. So I'm almost doing a little bit of a hinge right here that allows a good position through the shoulders. 
If you're open like this, you just have no range of motion. Oh, let's take a little break. Um, either I'm out of shape or hopefully you felt that. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> back in. You can always stretch the tops of the wrists. Now we're going down for two, up for two. We're again starting loading in from the bottom. Up for two, down for two, up, two. And you know that it's cheating if you use your legs too much. Don't do that. You basically have no legs. Okay, up, two, down. Try not to lock or snap your elbows. We're just lifting out of them. Single counts, here we go. Up, down. Energy to the top of the movement. Up, down. You can do it. Four, down. Three, down. Two, good. Another little break. <sighs> Shake them out. Can we pulse? Maybe not a pulse, not a true pulse. Half reps. <sighs> Here we go. We're loading down. <clears throat> Halfway up, here we go, up, 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 10 more, 10, nine, pinch your shoulder blades together, open the chest, even though you're hinging at the hips, five, four, three, two, one, ah, that burns, yay, 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 in a good way. Slap those triceps a little bit. The last thing we have to do that we haven't really hit in arms is biceps. So we're going back to the chair. Good old chair. We're gonna do some step ups. Grab a sip of water. Ah, uh, fives or eights or tens, whatever you wanna do. Choose your weight. We're gonna do fives. I'm not gonna lie, because we're gonna be up and down a lot. Pick a leg, any leg, we'll do both of them. I'll do this open side, so I'm on my left leg. We're just gonna start with a nice two count step up and step down. I want you to be a real stickler here, you guys. Look down at your bottom knee. I'll demo here from the front. What I don't want to see is this knee pitching inward to the midline. That's called knee valgus. We don't want that. We want it right over the middle of the toe, the middle toe, I should say, or even slightly out to recruit, recruit the medial glute. Okay, a little hinge in the hips can help. We're going to add the bicep, so palms forward, up for two, up, two, down, two. Just a nice smooth bicep curl, down, Two. I hope I'm in frame. I'm not a professional videographer, guys, okay? Up. Now, legs stay slow, arms are gonna double. Up, down, up, down. Just the arms. Up, down, up. Legs are just going up for two, down for two. All right, we're gonna speed up the legs to match the arms. Ready? Curl, drop. If this is too aggressive of a tempo for you, just do something slow. It's totally fine. Don't sacrifice in that knee. Two, one. Good, just the leg. Eight, seven, six, five. You can do it. Four more. Three. To switch legs, we have a little bicep extravaganza. Last one. Ay, ay, ay. Biceps at 90. Check your legs out. Open them just a little line of diagonal. Little curl, like halfway. So full being like knuckles to shoulders. Curl, little faster. Drop your tailbone, nice soft through the knees. Eight more. Try not to get your elbows in tight. Give them a little space, it's gonna be harder. You like that? Little reach this time, still on the diagonal. Reach. Now if you exhale, as you reach out, you can get a great little bit of core. Engage. Exhale. Shoulders down, loose, everything's happy. A little faster, take it out. Like little punches. Good, alternate the little reach and the little curl. We're onto the other side. Reach, curl, reach, curl. You know we gotta do a full phrase though, so that's halfway, four more sets, four, curl. Three, you know what, I think my camera's lower than usual. That's what I'm doing wrong. Last one, release. <clears throat> so I'm not even gonna switch my chair, I'm just gonna switch legs. You do it too. No arms. <sighs> Up for two, slow. Up, two, whoo, down, two. Look down at your knee enough to see what the heck is going on there. We wanna practice really good movement patterns here. 
step ups are so underrated. Holy cow. One of my favorite exercises. All righty. Palms forward. Same thing. Curl up for two. Up, two, down, two. Just a natural. Everything's lifting. Everything's lowering. This is fun. Yay. Okay. Legs stay slow. Arms are going to go faster. Up, down, up, down. Legs stretch. Legs drop. It should be confusing. Make that brain work. It's good for you. Down. Pick up the leg tempo to match the arms. Girl. A little spring off that bottom foot. Watch the knee. Down. Four. Three. All right. <clears throat> no bicep. Just eight singles. Step up. Seven. Just the legs. Last little moment here for those gams. Four. Does anyone say that anymore? Two. Oh, baby. One. Yeah. Okay, cool. So here's where we're headed next. We're gonna let the heart rate come down. Come down to the floor. We're gonna start super good, set it abs. Get some water. Grab your ball. We're gonna roll all the way down flat and use the ball against our thigh. So just Hands flat against the ball. You're gonna exhale, push, and then release. So think push for three counts, and then release on one. I want you to blow air out of your mouth like you're blowing out a birthday cake. Candles, I mean. If I don't tell you anything what to do, your abs should naturally engage a little faster. Exhale, release, exhale. Release, you'll feel your low back grow a little closer to the ground. See if you can bring your pelvic floor into that little game as well. Two, and one, good. A little faster, exhale, exhale. Less movement back and forth and just increase tension across that TBA, that transverse abdominis. Good, four, three. Now we wanna keep that locked down and you're gonna take the ball under your right knee. Squeeze it. Push your hands now against that same thigh. Left leg up. We're gonna start to drop it down and lift it up. Exhale. I cannot drop the leg without, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like poofing out, pooching out, coning of that midline after kids unless I exhale. Then it totally disperses that pressure. Good, keep going. To modify, you would bend your knee. Exhale. You got two more. Stay with this. Push in your thigh. It's worth it. One more. Okay, so we're gonna try to leave that leg low as long as you can go, as long as you can keep it. Hands behind the head. Give me a nice little crunch here. Up, down. So to modify, I'm just gonna bend that long leg. It's still gonna feel heavy for sure. Good, take it across the body, across. I think I might be able to stretch it. Excellent. Four more. Four. Woo! Three. I'm losing that engagement a little bit, so I'm gonna bend the knee. Eight little pulses, and you can pull the knee a little closer. The knee with the ball. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Woo! All right, other side. So it goes under your left knee. Hands push against the thigh. Right knee up to the ceiling. Down for two. Down. Up for two. Whew, down. Up. Let's find our beat. Inhale, exhale, down. And up. Exhale. Good, keep going nice and strong. Push into that thigh, modify if you need to by bending the leg. Up. This is great for postpartum recovery as long as you're modifying and not allowing any pressure on that linea alba, that midline. Okay, drop it down and stay, hands behind the head. Little crunch, up to the knee. Exhale. I'm gonna try to keep it long as long as I can. Nope, I saw it go, so be a stickler. About that midline, up, down, ha! Ah. Take it across the body. I think I'm losing a boob out, out the side of my top here. Exhale. Over, center, four, three, Woo. fight for it, two, now you're gonna stay over to this side, little pulses in with the knee with the ball. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One. Whew. Okay, take that ball, it's going underneath the hips. I like this one a lot. All right, holding the ball, flex feet today. Just take a few of those same exhales. Exhale. Release. I am thinking about pushing my back into the space between the ball and the floor. We've done these before here as well. A little faster. Exhale. Pull. Release. Pull. I'm flexing my feet because I'm visualizing and imagining pushing my feet against the wall in front of me. Four. Two more. Two. Okay, try to keep it on lockdown. Alternate those knee taps or those heel taps. I'm just saying all the wrong words of the body today. All of this stuff, super good for postpartum, wherever you are, even if you're like 20 years postpartum. Good. All right, legs up to the ceiling. We're going back to that little pull through the abs. So take a second just to scoop. We're gonna try to lower both legs nice and long. Down, two, up, two. I'm gonna rearrange my ball a little bit to be a little lower. Now again, I have to breathe out. If I exhale, I can keep that tension under control. One more. Okay, one leg at a time. Drop and stay. Switch legs, drop and stay. Now from here on out, we're thinking stability. So don't worry if you don't feel a lot right here burning in the front. I want not a lot of movement through the pelvis. That's your focus. We're gonna try to speed this up. If you're super strong in your low abs, Think of this more of a flutter kick, so don't allow the legs to go up by your face. Keep them nice and low and away from the body. Seven, six, five, four, three. A few little reverse curls and we're off this ball. You guys, a little lift, a little lower. So toes just straight up to the ceiling. If you watch the video, it doesn't look like much. So again, bringing that idea back into your practice, your workout, being like how you feel it. A little faster, exhale. Quality over aesthetic or appearance, at least within the workout, right? We're working well so that we create a good aesthetic from strength in the body. Two more, two, one, and really bend your knees, pop the ball off, and set it to the side. We're gonna come down all the way flat. Just to hit a little bit of the top abs here, hands behind the head, little tiny curl, up and stay. So we'll glance down your body, pull your ribs in, Try not to smash your low back into the floor. Neutral spine, pull up your pelvic floor. So give me a nice big kegel. And then relax your head backwards in your hands. Just a little half curl. Up, little down, up, little down. Oh, my door is opening. Hey, Zoe. <laughs> I always get a little visit, little up, little down. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but this is already killing me. I'm shaking. Quality, right? A little faster, a little up. Hi, you can come out if you're good. <laughs> I am good. Okay, little crisscross twist. Over, center, over. And notice how you could go real big and move your head, right? But we're just doing a little twist through the ribs. Oh, now Scarlett's crying on the other side of my door. Kids, man. A little faster, exhale, over, over. I'm just doing like the tiniest, Rotation through my ribs. Eight, six. Really reach through that elbow. Now we're gonna add the knee just to spice things up. Twist. Going back to that slow one, but maybe restrict yourself. See how I feel this so much more if I'm not twisting as much. Maybe close your eyes, just how you feel it. So what's important. We're obviously not gonna go double time because that would be hectic. So you get six more. Just controlled marches through the legs, little slight rotation through the ribs. Damn my. Zoe, what you doing, girl? Come up and stay. You wanna do some abs with us? Up an inch down, inch up, little down. So we're back to the, the beginning or where we started here. No one's in here. No one's in here, I know. I'm just talking to myself. A little faster. Exhale. Up. Up. That thing picks up a video so that it saves for later. Final eight, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna finish off with a little forearm plank. So roll it up and over. Hey, Zoe, Zoe, honey, come here. 
Do you want to go back inside with Dad? <laughs> no, of course not. Okay, forward plank. Tuck your toes. I want you to bend your knees and hover and pull your abs in. If you're doing this above a small child. Okay, and then rotate your hips slowly to one side, to the other side. Up and over your small child or your imaginary one. A little faster. 16, 15, 14, 13. Again, we have that feeling of drawing up and in through that deep core. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Drop your knees and push back. So let's challenge ourselves for a cool down for some plank holds, shall we? Let's start on the forearms where, from once we came. So start with your toes tucked and your knees straight. Abs up and in. We're gonna take a few deep breaths here, hold. Okay, so this is like our pre-hold. I'm waiting for that beat to drop. We're just gonna hold for 16 pounds. One, two, three. To modify, you're just gonna drop to the tops of your knees, but keep the engagement through your abs. Just eight more counts, you can do this. Breathe deeply. Good, drop the knees just briefly to come up to the hands. This time, hands and knees, we're gonna tuck the toes. Push into the hands, engage the abs, float to hover. Now in this one, it's important not to snap your elbows forward, not to lock them. Again, that was like our pre-hold. Here's 16, 16, 15. I find this one quite difficult. I just wanna sit back here like this, so if that's you two, don't do that. Hips forward. I'm feeling one more eight count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently lower to your knees. Good. Simmer back into a child's pose. I'm gonna change the music to something relaxing. Let's start back on all fours. We're gonna do some, I wanna say aggressive cat cows, but they're not aggressive. They're just gonna be a little more directive. So I want you to arch your back for two, and then round for two. I don't know why, but I've been doing this a lot for warm up, and I just find that when you're a little quicker with it, I actually prefer it, you know, like, usually when we do cat cow, it's like, ooh, take your time, feel it out, but it feels really good, like, doing it with the beat. I don't know if that makes any sense. We need a few more. It's like the more I do, the more deeply I'm able to push into it. Last one. Good. Find neutral spine, you're gonna take a nice big twist, thread the needle, so one arm up and then under. Try to get your whole shoulder on the floor and then set your head down. Take a nice deep breath in through those shoulders. And this is just like your transitional stretch. You just went from going so hard. So try to let your energy shift here, back to the other side, all the way up. And then thread the needle. Give yourself a little permission here to take a few minutes to stretch. I don't know about you, but if I'm not directed to in a class or a video, I'll just forego it. I just <laughs> always think there's something better to do and there's not. So just be here with me if you're able. Push your hips forward and notice if you feel immediately your spine or your abs. It might be a little bit of both, but just notice. And I like a very gentle twist to one side. Again, you're bringing just like an extra layer of awareness and just check in mentality into your body. Just be really greedy and selfish for these last few minutes, like just eat them up. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice little series here. Let's start with our right leg forward into a classic runner's lunge. Actually, you don't have to tuck your back toe. Keep your knee down, push your hips forward and drop your chin down to your hip like you could get your nose to your left hip bone. Close your eyes and tuck, tuck, tuck through those hips. You might even squeeze your butt a little bit. And then we're gonna just press through the hips back. If this bothers your knee, just be super gentle. Try to expand through your chest so you're nice and open. I come up to the fists and you can flex and point that front ankle. We're gonna do one or two more hamstring stretches. So think of this as like the first layer. Take a moment just to round over a little bit over that flat back. Take a nice deep breath through the hamstring. And then we're gonna come back forward 
bend the front knee. We're gonna make our way to a little half pigeon. To modify, you just come down to a little double attitude. That feels really nice too. Rotate down and over. And I want you to take some time here, okay? So wherever you are in your hip flexibility, we're not in a rush. Okay, so you can be way up here to start. Ease into it, allow your eyelids to shut, allow your chin to drop, allow the weight of your head to pull down on your neck. Take a big old deep breath in, hold it for a second. And then let it out like it's the end of the night, you just have nothing left, but in a good way. Try to feel like your bones are nice and heavy and the mat and the floor are holding you, like someone for a change is holding and supporting you. You don't have to use any muscles to do that. And just stay here for a moment. We're just gonna take a few deep breaths into that hip. Maybe one more. Good. So sit on that same side hip. We're gonna take the back knee and bend it in for a little quad stretch. A few options, you can come straight down to the elbows or all the way down. To modify, a lot of people like this one. So you just roll onto one side, it's almost like you're standing, and then just take that knee or that foot into your hand and pull behind you. First feels best on your knees. Again, you guys, a moment, just shut your eyes. How's your quad feel? Take a breath. Sit with your body for a second. Just check in. Second hamstring stretch, so come up and out. You're just gonna unfold the front foot. If you want a little more stretch in your low back, you're gonna open your hips a little bit and angle like your armpit into your knee. And get a nice stretch across the pelvis there. Otherwise, you're gonna square off and come down. Same idea, eyelids shut, chin tucked, head heavy. Try to surrender to the stretch. And just picture your breath like a nice wave going through your body. I, I always think of my muscles being like a bit of an air filter. As I breathe in, it's like filtering out any of the stress from the day or soreness in my body and then it comes out the other side cleaner and better. It's just like, ah. <sighs> Good. One little hip stretch and we'll do the other side, nothing fancy. So bend in your front leg. Your back leg is going to swing around. So this is not the hip we've done yet. So that's okay. It's just kind of keeping the body, the sides of the body as unified as possible. So you can stay in this position if you just like that. Have a moment to just pull your knee close. Otherwise you can stack your shins. If you're someone with really open hips, you'll need this stretch. This is like a lot for me. <laughs> Oh, so I need a minute in there. Same thing, you guys, eyes shut, chin tucked, head heavy, shoulders down. Deep, peaceful, calm breaths. By now, if you've stuck with me thus far, you should feel like your energy really is starting to shift. You're like, oh, I can relax a little deeper. So sometimes the second side is even better. So we're gonna flip around. You can stay the same way if you want. Um, left leg forward, ease into that left hip and see how that one's doing. Hips way forward, so tuck and then chin drops. Really tuck your chin down and tuck your hip up and that is what brings that really good stretch across the front of the hip. Good. And you're just gonna ease back into the hip, stretch that front hamstring. And I want to kind of share something that I've been thinking about. You know, sometimes in the morning, I hunt YouTube for like morning motivation or like morning inspiration or affirmations or whatever. And I, I don't ever know like what exactly toes the line. I'm a Christian and so I like to spend some time with God in the morning and, you know, sometimes I'm like, what, what works for me? You know, like what's really... I don't know, out there and what can I bring in with my faith? Anyway, cross your front leg. <clears throat> but I was listening to something on intentions and it just, it just was really awesome for me. I took it with me through every day last week. Um, 
just the idea of not getting derailed in your day. Like you could be pre-grateful for the moments that you know are going to happen. Um, for instance, I'm a mom of two little kids and things go south a lot, like when you didn't anticipate them doing so. And it's easy to get frustrated in those moments. Go ahead and come down. If you can close your eyes and just listen to me blather, that would be ideal. Um, anyway, I started thinking about how to be pre, how to already be grateful for the moments that I know are gonna happen. And I found like a video that kind of supported that and was doing like how to set your intention. So as you sit here in your stretches and I'll switch you in and out of them, I just wanna share that. And you can think this as you're breathing through your body along with me as I lead it. So go ahead and switch to your quad stretch and we'll settle in. If you can get to a place with eyes closed, that's always nice. So if you know you're gonna have good moments, right? You can already be grateful for them. I'm huge about being thankful and grateful about stuff. Everybody is, that's nothing new. So I want you to think I'm already grateful for, and I don't know if you're doing this in the morning or at night, but I'm already grateful for the moments of peace and calm that I'm gonna experience. Even if it's like a second when your kids are being cute or when you're done with your work early, or when you look out the window and it's raining or you smell a candle, you know, whatever. Those little moments, you're already grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for personal connections that I'm gonna experience today. It's Sunday night, so I'm guessing my personal connection, go ahead and come up and hamstring stretch, is gonna be with my husband or my kids, but I'm gonna create a moment that's really real and I'm grateful for that. I have control to do that. Um, I'm grateful for little moments of happiness, especially those that I can create for other people. In my life, it's been just saying yes to playing with my kids or just calming down and offering like a really welcome home environment for my husband or a friend and not talking about myself the whole time. Just really meaningful things. It makes you realize how much control you do have even when you feel like you don't have any control over your day. Anyway, I wanted to share that. I'm not very good at sharing like really deep things. I kind of make light of it, but um, bend your front leg and swing that back leg around. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share that. Like if it's morning, think of the moments that you can create. And if it's night, think about the time that you have left, like what you're going to do. What kind of a moment are you going to create in your day to finish with? Like, who are you going to make feel really special today? You have the power to do that. That's so cool. That's just something I'm learning and I wanted to share that. Anyway, um, last stretch, just both legs forward. I want us to focus a little bit on breathing. So drop your eyes, drop your chin, roll down over your legs. Get as comfortable as you can. I know that some of us are up a little higher for hamstrings. Grab onto what's available. We're gonna breathe into our backs. It's just so invigorating. Take a nice deep breath. And let it out. I'm gonna do that two more times. Breathe in, you know like when you've been crying and you're like da, 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 and then the breath out. It is so good. It's so worth it. That's what it reminds me of. One more, inhale and totally let it all go. Go a little deeper, hold for a moment. Just take one second to give yourself a compliment. Yay for settling on a video. Yay for getting all the way through, for carving out time for yourself, for being consistent with working out, for starting working out, any of those things. Go ahead and roll up. And I hope you feel as good as I do. I feel really good right now. And. Just thanks, huge thanks as always. If you watch these videos, I really appreciate you. I was feeling like pretty down about YouTube. Today I was like, what the heck am I gonna film? Nobody watches this crap, like, I don't know. And then I went through my comments to answer some of you. And I just, I really appreciate the few of you, first of all, that comment, it means a lot to me. And just anyone who would watch this. And those of you who are subscribed to my channel, it's awesome. So thank you so much. You never know what, what, you're gonna do that influences someone else's life, right? Even across the internet. It's just so cool. So have a wonderful day and thanks for crushing this workout with me. Bye.